The disorders that we looked at, uh, erdheim chester disease and Langerhans cell histiocytosis, these are um, uncommon diseases, uh, especially erdheim chester disease. These are uncommon diseases in adults. Uh, and it has been found recently that the tumors in these individuals have a predominance of the BRAF V600E mutation, which is an uh, oncogenic mutation found in many cancers, uh, predominantly in melanoma. And it has also been found that when these patients are treated with a BRAF inhibitor, uh, that there's a dramatic clinical response. At the same time, uh, tissue isn't always available uh, for sequencing to identify the BRAF mutation in these patients. And even when biopsy can take place, often it's done of uh, bone lesions, which renders the material unsuitable for genotyping. Uh, so the motivation of the study was to see whether there's a non-invasive way to identify the presence of the BRF B600 mutation. We compared uh, known confirmed tissue BRAF status uh, to urine in more than 20 patients with these diseases and in the patients who were untreated, which is to say there's no reason that they're uh, they weren't on any BRAF inhibitor. So in patients who were untreated, the concordance was uh, literally 100%, which is to say that uh, the urine test was positive uh, in all of the patients for whom the tissue test was positive. And there were even some patients for whom the urine test was the first identification of the BRAF mutation, and then they were subsequently found to have uh, the mutation in their tissue.